Good afternoon, viewers. Welcome back to Off the Wall. This is uh, sponsored by Monterey Hypnosis Center. My name is Larry Conti, Lawrence, in fact. And we're here to reach out to you and actually help make a difference in your lives. Now, today we get to do something special because, in fact, at five after one, we're also going to be simulcasting live on 1240 AM radio. So there's certain things that I can deliver to you that you can use as tools in your life, as TV viewers, that I would not otherwise be able to do for people that are driving their car listening to the radio. So let's get to a technique I'm going to teach you really quick. It's very simple, very easy. And if it helps one of you viewers change your life, and it will, then it's worth it for me to be here doing this. Now, what I'd like for you to do is simply imagine for a moment, get back and take a nice deep breath. And you can close your eyes or leave your eyes open and imagine for a moment the things that you think about that cause negative energy or negative response for you, uh, things that you're uncomfortable with. And what I'd like to do is have you imagine that you're on a stage. Imagine that you're on a stage and in the theater, however many seats there are, it doesn't matter, in the theater is each incident past present or future yet, that drains your energy when you think about it. Each one individually, whether it's a person, place, or an incident, each one of them in the theater, person, place, or incident. And I would like you to bring one of those up on stage in front of you. One of those out of the chair, person, place, or incident that drains your energy out. Bring it on stage right in front of you. And now simply imagine an umbilical cord attached to you in that incident, person, place, or thing. Now, this is something that you're going to think in your mind. This is not something you're going to bring a person in front of you and say to them. This is something you're just going to simply imagine. Now, imagine that umbilical cord, the incident, the person, or place or thing that's causing negative energy, one of them, is standing on the stage in front of you. Now, imagine taking a beautiful pair of scissors and follow me. Repeat after me. Now, simply imagine snipping that umbilical cord. Ready? Snip and watch it roll up into them. And roll up into you. And now say to them, You'll be fine on your own. I forgive you. And I forgive myself. Now, let that person go back or that incident go back, wherever it came from. And bring the next one on stage. And you can write this down if you like. Uh, if you need more help with this, or if you need, uh, need to hear it again, you can call me at 372-2929. I'll be glad to deliver it to you again. Let's bring the second person, place, or thing that draws your energy out that sucks you dry whenever you think about it. Bring it up on stage. Now imagine that umbilical cord attached to you, draining your energy out. Now take those scissors, ready? Snip, just say it right there, snip, and watch that cord roll back up into them, and roll back up into you. Now, simply say, you'll be fine on your own, I forgive you, and I forgive myself. Good, now we have time for another one. Just go ahead and, and let let that, whatever that incident is, just let it go. Now, bring the next one on stage. Let's do one more. Person, place, or incident, past, present, or even yet to have happen, that drains your energy out. For you of those, uh, those of you just joining, this is a little simple exercise that we're doing to, to help uh, people enhance their lives, really. Now, put that, put that incident or person or place on stage in front of you out of the theater, on stage in front of you, and imagine that umbilical cord. Now ready? We're gonna take the scissors and cut, ready? Snip that cord, watch it roll up in there, and roll back up into you, and say to yourself, you'll be fine on your own, I forgive you, and I forgive myself. Now I know for those of you that are doing this, you actually feel a little lighter, a little refreshed even. As you take a nice deep breath now, come back in the room, open your eyes, Relax, and now we're going to uh, we're going to maybe throw some of those things in for the TV viewers the first five minutes of the show every Tuesday at one o'clock on Comcast Channel 19. Also, are we streaming live, Dave? Uh, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. KYMB TV.com streaming live, and we also now actually oh there it is right on the TV. Look at that, and we also now should be. <laughs> Dave's pretty good back there. You know, he, he's a good, good, good guy. So, so we're also uh, should be joined by K 
KNRY, 1240 AM here in just a moment. I would think that that would be any moment now. So for our listeners and our viewers, what I'd like to start by doing is thanking our last week's guests. Now we have Susanna McGuire. I would like to recognize her as she is, you know, a yoga teacher. And if you call her, she will actually set you up with a free uh, taste of yoga. And her, her website is deliciousyoga.net. And her phone number is 239-2594. Now, Susanna is, is very passionate about yoga. She's an artist. She sings. She's in a band. She, cre she's, she creates websites, business cards. Her passion really is yoga and teaching people how to enhance their lives. And, and we want to acknowledge Susanna because she's made for us a website. It's uh, off the radio. Off the, it's, off the, it's called offthewallradio.net. Offthewallradio.net. And also there's a Facebook page, Off the Wall, that she, she has taken pictures a couple weeks back in our first TV show here. She took some pictures of uh, myself, my girlfriend Kim, and, and, and her son Bryce. I'd like to say hello, as usual. I want to recognize it and, I, and let you know that I appreciate you, Kim, and, and Bryce, in my life. I really do. You've enhanced my lives in ways that are indescribable. So, uh, to move forward with, with Susanna, please give her a call. She, in fact, would come to your home and do a yoga session with your family in the evening. What better way could you think of, on the weekends, uh, possibly, what better way could you think of to actually do something with your family to bond and, and be on the same page without criticism? Now, parents, criticism, it's, it's awful. It's really awful. Appreciation and things you appreciate, now that's a different story. And it can be so much easier and better to say the things you appreciate. Bring her in for some yoga, get a relationship with your family, enhance your bond and your energy with your family. There's everything to win, everything to gain by doing this. Susanna's number is 239-2594. And if you missed any of these people or contacts that we're going to give you to write down and put on the wall so that you can get them off the wall later, you can always contact me at Monterey Hypnosis, 372-2929. I'll be glad to, to hook you up with these contacts. Now, we'd also like to thank our last week guest was uh, Jet. Jet is a Vima liquid vitamin distributor. And Jet's phone number is 402-3800. 402-3800. And she will give you a free sample of yoga. No, I was going to say of yoga. Of actually Vima. It kind of sounds like Vima yoga. Well, if you take... Vima, you'll have more energy to do yoga. Although it doesn't take much energy. To, it's very easy to do yoga. Everybody has a different level of entry that if they're curious about it, call Susanna. If you, want, if you need a, a liquid vitamin and, and, and supplement, call Jet, 402-3800. Last week, we also had Carl Gadner. Carl Gadner is, is a networker in that he comes into your home and networks the home or business so that you can reduce remotes down to one. One remote, control anything and everything, the stereo, the TV. You know, us, you know we like to have, like, all these different remotes. I have, like, I don't know how many. I've lost track. A, one remote. And he was showing us this morning that Business Network International at the meeting we have every Tuesday morning at 7 o'clock. He was showing us uh, one of the newer contraptions that, in fact, will put the whole household on one control. Carl's number is 240-4494, extension 21. 240-4494, extension 21. If you have any questions about how to, if you bought it, if you, if you, let's say you go to this, go to, to uh, TV, buy a new TV. And you need help hooking it up. Cables don't make sense. You don't want to know if you got the best look you can have. Call Carl. Give him a call. Stereos, TVs. He'll come into your home, hook it up for you. Call him up. Give you a price for free. Give you a price for free. <laughs> How's that sound? He'll give you a price for free. So it's 240-4494, extension 21. Again, if you miss this, give me a call, and I'll get I'll, 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 372-2929. How's that? That's easy to remember. 372 I, I have live people answering the phone 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and they will attempt to contact me right then and there 
if uh, I'm busy in a session, which I'm very, very busy, we'll get your name and number. I'll call you back on my next break. Very simple. We'd also like to thank that last week's guest. Isn't that a pretty card? Pamela Meyer. Pamela Meyer is uh, she's a decorator. She's a decorator, and she will give you a free <laughs> estimate at her office in Karma Valley, in Mid Valley. If you bring the plans to her, just call her and find out anyway. Her number is 624-4000. 624-4000 if you want to design your office, your home, your entryway, your child's bedroom. We, we have a lot of contacts. Off the wall is going to bring you, and has brought you in the past, for the past eight months on radio, is going, nine, nine months I think actually, we're, we, we've added TV, is going to bring you contacts of an integral, reliable resource so that you can get all kinds of things done and get all kinds of help, reliable, trustworthy help that you can depend on. That's what we're doing. We're, we're, we're bringing contacts to you to enhance your lives. And so, uh, Diane, uh, Pamela's number is 624-4000. Give her a call, and and, uh, and she will be glad to help you with these things. Now, we have a couple of sponsors, and I've mentioned uh, one sponsor in particular, Tom Brick, the past couple of few weeks. He was uh, he is a a, a very uh, I'm very grateful for Tom. He he contributed quite a, a good amount of money so that we could keep doing this, and I don't charge anybody that comes on the show, if, if you'd like to come on the show and, and, uh, and talk about your business or charitable event, just, just give me a call. We'll schedule it. I'm booked. We, we have, the show is booked for guests through almost through, October, through August. And if you'd like to call here, as a matter of fact, if you're driving or uh, we, we want to get a welcome, we know that on the radio 1240 AM, we know that there's a technical glitch and there's some background noise. Hopefully by the next Tuesday at 1 o'clock, 105 for the radio listeners, we'll have that ironed out. This is new. This is, you know, I don't know anybody that's, that's doing live TV and simulcasting on the radio at the same time. I, I, I don't know anybody. So there's a couple of glitches that we're working on. We're trying to reach as many people as we can to help enhance your lives. Again, my name is Larry Conti, and I'm sponsored by Monterey Hypnosis Center. I am a, I am a hypnotist and a teacher of neurolinguistics. And the process that we use, to, well, by the way, drivers and listeners of the radio, you missed uh, a quick NLP technique <laughs> that will enhance your life. If you'd like to learn about what we delivered to the first five minutes on live TV, you can give me a call at 372-2929, and I'll be glad to, uh, and be glad, glad to deliver that to you. If you'd like to come in for a half an hour to Monterey Hypnosis Center and learn about how you can easily enhance your lives and the lives of your loved ones cost you nothing. I'll talk to you for half an hour. I'll, I'll, I'll deliver a half an hour to you in my office for absolutely free. And <laughs> no risk. Free. And so so give me a call. 372-2929. Dave, we're going to take a break here in a moment and um, we're going to take a 30 second break and then we'll be right back with our first guest. Thank you. See you in a minute. You try to lose weight but it doesn't seem to be your fate. Perhaps the way you've gone about it has given you reason to doubt it. There's an easier proven way to lose that weight today. Just three steps to success. Walk, drink, water, and listen with Monterey Hypnosis. And welcome back, viewers and listeners. Uh, my name is Larry Conti with Off the Wall Show. And... and <laughs> you know, we're, we're new at this. We're having a lot of fun. I got Dave in the background. He's pointing in different directions and looking at that camera. There's, there's a couple of cameras here. And for those of you who listen on the radio, 375-1919. If you're at home, 375-1919. We have a telephone right here. If you'd like to say hi to somebody, if you'd like to announce a charitable event that you're having, 375-1919. Now, let's welcome our first guest today, Nigel. Nigel is here, and you know, Nigel's a member of BNI as well, Business Networking International, and we meet uh, Tuesday mornings at 7 a.m. Now, next week on the 19th, there's some, uh, our, our, we, we meet at Monterey Pines, right down the street on Garden 
and, and um, Fairgrounds Road. And so next week we are not having a meeting. I've been going for almost you know, better than a year and a half, and this is, the, this is one of the moments where our place that we meet is going to be occupied by something with the windows screened off, something of more importance. <laughs> we'll be back on the following week. I don't, I don't know what the date is for sure. I could look it up. The following Tuesday, two weeks from now. And if you have a business or if you'd like to solicit your business and get some networking connections, join us about 10 to 7 a.m., about 10 to 7, 7 o'clock, have some breakfast, we'll buy you breakfast, at BNI, Business Network International, right down the street. Uh, that's where we meet. Now, Now mm -hmm. Nigel is a business-to-business -business type person. <laughs> Nigel makes signs. And how do you like my sign? How do you like this? Do you like that? Is it? What do you think about that? That's pretty cool. Is it pretty cool? I'm, I'm a little distracted right now. Are you distracted? I'm, I'm busy snipping and forgiving, but... Oh, the snippet of forgiving. But I'll come back. Oh, you know. <laughs> Do you ever ask for forgiveness? All the time. Right. So, so, you know, for those of us that believe in God, some, you know, have their doubts and they believe in higher powers. Well, everybody sees everything different. That's, that's fine. Once we ask God for forgiveness, do we believe that we're forgiven instantly? Good question. Well, are you? You I'm... think if you ask, is it, aren't we taught? that if you ask God for forgiveness, he forgives you instantly. You're asking the wrong person. I don't know. Oh, you don't know. I don't know. I can tell you that is true. And just let me give you a little tip. If you hang on to what you're asking for forgiveness for, <laughs> that means you're saying you know more than God. Because if God forgives you instantly, who are you to hang on to it? Let it go. The past makes no difference. The fact that I just said that, it's actually history. Although you can look it up again. If you wanted to, it's pretty good stuff. It's pretty positive stuff. And in fact, though, though, what we want to do is take from this moment forward and talk about Nigel and his business and how he can help enhance your business or, or your home, in fact. Why don't you bring, well, tell us about your, your business. Yeah, thanks, Larry. Well, um, we've been in business since 1968. What, what is it called? Uh, Apex Signs and Graphics. Apex, did you give me a, a, a card? I, I did not. Okay, well, you know the number. What's your phone number? 757-7377. 757 757- Seven three seven seven. I tell us some more. Well, yeah. Basically, what we do is we uh, uh, our main focus is helping businesses um, enhance the look and feel of their their environment, oh. uh, attract customers to their uh, to their to their business, mm -hmm. um, and uh, hey, it's all about sales. Basically, yes. it's yes. all about sales. Sales for the business that the, the business exactly. Well, yes. People that have business, it's all about sales for them. Right. Exactly. You you actually come and help them increase their sales. Precisely. If, right. if you if you've got a business with uh, a, a ratty looking sign outside, um, then people are probably going to think twice about coming into your business to, uh, to to purchase product from you. I saw. So. I saw you brought an example down to B and I one day of a handmade sign. It was about tacos, and it was all scribbled, and you know, you know and you mentioned who. Would want to eat there. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Well, here's a good example, actually. Oh, so, yeah, show you, us an example. You, you've seen these sort of tatty looking banners. We have an example. Yes, of course. Show and tell. Have a sign. <laughs> you've seen banners Apex hanging on buildings. That's, that's and they, and they, they look tatty and ratty. And So, here's a, here's a, here's a great method of, uh, of, of taking a, uh, yeah, uh, a banner yeah. uh, and putting it in a frame look at that. Uh, and making it look like a real sign. So, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's a very professional looking way of mounting a banner on the side of a building. Wow. So, uh, again, it's And that's your time. name? Uh, it would be, yes. Apex Science. By some strange coincidence. <laughs> and you have a website? We do. That oh, was it apexscience.com? Dot net. Dot net? Somebody already took the dot com? Uh, frankly, yes. Oh. There we go. Look so, at this. We got so, it. We got so, it shot so, on TV. So don't go to your fingernails. Look. A, 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 <laughs> Apex Science. You're a working man, right? Is in, <laughs> <laughs> is in San Francisco. We're not in San Francisco. <laughs> <laughs> so, Apex Science. Okay, so. so What's the, what, what next? What else do you have there? Well, what we also like to do is to uh, help uh, businesses save money. Um, so if you think about traditional uh, electric signs, they have neon inside them or they have fluorescent tubes. Uh, they consume a lot of power. A lot of them are using LEDs. Nowadays, nowadays, they, nowadays they are, exactly. And yes. So here's a good example of an LED-powered We're bringing examples to you live sign. on TV. So, so there we go. It's, it's powered by LEDs. Um, so it, oh. sa it saves power. Um, so it saves the... Um, uh, the company who's uh, uh, using this technology saves them a lot of money. Yes. Um, and it's, yeah. it's, it's the green thing to do. Look at that. Um, it's, it's the right thing cool? to do. Is that cool? And what's that stand for? Nigel? Which? Is that an N? Uh, this is actually part of uh, Del Mon 
T shopping oh. centre. So oh. if, if you're familiar with Del Monte, you'll have seen these letters out there on the monument sign on the entrance uh, into the uh, into the shopping centre. It's quite a good looking sign. I did notice it. I am completely biased, but I agree with you. Yes. yes. Well, and you made that. Absolutely. Yes. Did you design it yourself? We didn't design it. We had an architect um, design it, uh, but uh, we built it to the architect's specification. Uh -huh. And... Uh, and so you make co consequently, they save a lot of money, and they've got a great-looking sign. I thought this might be N for Nigel. Well, you spell your name with Nigel, N, don't pure, you? Pure coincidence. Pure yeah, coincidence. Oh, is it? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what else did you bring? I saw you bought, you bought, you bought a bag of goodies over there. Yeah. What else you got there? Kind of, kind of heavy. Um, <laughs> oh, another thing we do with That's with, with uh, signage is we we, we love to it. use eco eco friendly products, uh, eco friendly materials um, that. Um, Make signs last well. They, uh, um, it's almost indestructible. It'll last last a lifetime. It'll almost indestructible. It will never need repainting, and it's extremely light and extremely durable. What is uh, it made of? It's a, a high density urethane foam, basically. So it's, it's styrofoam. A, uh, slightly denser than oh, styrofoam. Oh, oh, they they but, call it polystyrene. Yeah, but it it is a foam material. That's it, what we use for insulation with garage doors. Polystyrene. Mm -hmm. Very yeah. condensed styrofoam. You can uh, hit this with a hammer. It'll just Strong. bounce right off, and yeah. uh, and it won't break. Speaking of garage doors. Which we were. We were. Were we? No. Well, you can make signs on garage doors. We, we have done. As a matter of fact, my family is Aaron Overhead Door, uh, 649 Door. Garage doors, service, gates, commercial doors, commercial doors. So what, what else did you bring? Signs. Oh, um, 649 show, Door. Show and tells. Aaron Overhead Door. <laughs> so, signs are <laughs> signs, signs a little bit big to bring onto a, a, a little s sort of stage like this. But uh, basically, we, we do anything and everything from, from neon to um, big building signs down to little decals. Um, Bumper stickers, um, you bumper name it. Bumper stickers. If, if, if you have a signage need um, and you want to get uh, some exposure, some uh, visibility for your company, uh, that, that's stickers. the sort of stuff that we do. You also make signs for, like, homes. I see a lot of people that uh, have a little sign that has their name really nice and uh, their number, their, their street number, or the street name and number. Exactly, and, exactly. And, and is that expensive? Anywhere from $40, $50 up, um, and you can have a very, very nice uh, wrought iron or brass um, sign to go on your gate post, on your front door, yes. uh, with your house number or, uh, and, and or street address. And uh, they would make a... Well, you know, I, uh, I actually am getting some sign language from Jim back here. Jim, Jim Fawson, victory for V. So we're going to... Uh, we're going to see... See, that was Jim. He, he, you know, <laughs> I could tell you a little story about Jim sometime. He, him and I worked radio together. And now he's... Uh, doing TV, the morning show on TV on, on Comcast Channel 19. Also, he does live streaming on uh, KYMBTV.com. Or, yes, that's it. And you can see Jim live every weekday morning from 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. And he has guests on, and, and uh, he's, he's really a, a, a character. And, and so <laughs> we want to let you know that Jim's got passion for what he does. And, and so listen to him. We bring you contacts to enhance your lives. Now, Nigel, what what else have you got? You were talking about um, buses. Oh yes, yeah, absolutely. That, that's a, that's a great way for small businesses to advertise. I think that Monterey Salinas Transit promotes Jim Show in the morning. I'm pretty sure. So Monterey Salinas Transit also has signs on buses. Now, how do you how do you you set those up? Yes, yes, indeed. I mean, you, you'll see three different sizes of signs on buses. Um, the, the the side um, away from the curb. Uh, is a king-sized ad that's basically 12 feet long by 3 feet high. Um, on the back of the bus, um, they're about 7 feet wide by uh, 30 inches tall. Mm -hmm. And then on the uh, the curb side, um, they're something like 10 feet by 3 feet. So th they're, they're, they're a great way of advertising for a small business. Yes. Uh, very affordable. Um, and it's easy to set up uh, through MST. Yes. Um, and so you do, you set, do you set that up for people? or Yes, indeed. Now, now, all the signs, are they designed by other people or do you design them? Either or. Um, a lot of customers will come to us with existing signs, uh, existing logos, and we'll use that um, in their signage. Um, other customers will come to us with a blank sheet of paper, um, and we'll start from scratch for them. Mm -hmm. So um, what, whatever the need is, basically, we can address their need. So for those of you that want to advertise uh, you know, or need to up upgrade your signs, do you give free estimates? Absolutely. I was going to say. Everything, you know. of course. <laughs> no, we, 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 we hey. charge for the estimate. <laughs> All right. You know, if you, would like, if you would actually like to think of a, a nice gift for somebody for their home. Uh, you know, I, I remember uh, I used to have a Conti's Paint and Body Shop. And we used to have a sign in, uh, it said, think, in, in the, by the body shop, in between the body and the paint shop. Except we had it upside down. And so it always caught a person's eye. 
and and, and snapped them out of uh, you know out of complacency and had you know made you think because you know in the body and paint business there's a lot of stuff going on and I, I did that for a long time. That, that's a problem with signs. They're ubiquitous. They're absolutely everywhere, and they're just very easy to ignore. Yes. Um, so yeah, doing something like that. Yes. Makes people stop and think. Stop and think, right? Yeah, for a moment, right? It grabs right. their attention. So the signs that you create, actually, even though they're right side up, most of the time, yes. Yeah, most of the time. <laughs> they actually, they actually catch people's eyes. That, that's that's the idea. And your family that's business. Idea. Yes. Yeah, yeah. That's really nice. And uh, we 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 appreciate you coming on the show today. Is there anything else you'd like to add before we go to uh, uh, bring our next guest on? You know, you're welcome to say hi to. Well, yeah, I'd, Alda. I'd, I'd, I'd love to say hi to Alda, but, yes. but, but she's at work yes. in the sign shop, and if she's watching TV, she shouldn't be. She could be listening to the radio at 12.40 a.m. She could. That's very, that's very true. Yeah. Uh, my, my grandkids, uh, Max and Julia, yeah. I'd like to say hi, say to, hi them. to them. However, <laughs> Max and Julia, hi. <laughs> they're enjoying a vacation in the Grand Canyon, so... Yes. Uh, we can get recording this for you, and you can watch it later. Perfect. That would be excellent. Thanks. Anything else you'd like to add? Well, How about for, your phone number? 757-7377. 757-7377. Um, seven, 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 seven. Apexsigns.net. Wonderful uh, gift. And, and, and thanks. Thanks for having me on. I really My appreciate pleasure. it. My pleasure. And Dave, thank you very much. You try to lose weight, but it doesn't seem to be your fate. Perhaps the way you've gone about it has given you reason to doubt it. There's an easier proven way to lose that way today. Just three steps to success. Walk, drink, water, and listen with Monterey Hypnosis. Okay. And I'll talk to you in a moment. So, are you ready? I'm ready. And we're back. We're back, ladies and gentlemen. Listeners, watchers, viewers, <laughs> we're having a lot of fun. Welcome back to Off the Wall, Comcast Channel 19, and also AM 1240. We're uh, KNRY AM 1240. We're we're bringing you live information. This is Tuesday, the 12th of July, at 1:27 p.m. So you know we're live now, and this will be rebroadcast uh, for encore and encore presentation. It'll be rebroadcast Wednesday at one o'clock on the radio. Uh, Friday at 4 o'clock and Saturday at 6 o'clock. So if there's uh, any questions that you might have or, or somebody you'd like to say hi to or a charitable event that you're having, 375-1919. Give us a call, and you can announce that right live on the TV and radio. We'd like to welcome our next guest, Diane Eagleston. 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 Uh, stand corrected. <laughs> and, and, you know, that's great. Diane Eagleston. Uh, I appreciate that. And so Diane is what? I am a professional bookkeeper. You're a professional bookkeeper. And my right. company is Eggleston Bookkeeping. Eggleston Bookkeeping. Yes. She's also a member at BNI. Mm -hmm. And we meet on Tuesday mornings. And again, I invited you all to meet, to meet us there for some breakfast. And if you need that information, you can call me later at 372-2929. And, and we'll, uh, we'll hook you up with that. So, so, Diane, tell us a little bit about yourself. Oh, I have a um, quite varied background it, as far as accounting is concerned. I have been everything from an accounts payable clerk, payroll uh, clerk, to um, staff accountant, mm -hmm. doing just about every part of accounting. Mm -hmm. So, it, and actually, I started as a young child, my reading invoices for my dyslexic father <laughs> yes. yeah pricing goods and stuff in the yes. store so this is a long quite varied because of that but in a lot of experience but I started uh, my bookkeeping service actually about 30 years ago as just a sideline to my regular work mm -hmm. which was in uh, small to very large companies um, as staff accountant or uh, accounting manager mm -hmm. And uh, really, I got down to actually just being totally on my own just a few years ago. Yeah. It's been really fun. Yes. <laughs> and, and what do you specialize in now? What is specialize, uh, specializing now? What's your passion? Yeah. My passion yes. is helping people, helping people. get organized, um, find a system that works for them. And what I mean by system is the whole ball of wax, <laughs> which would be from getting your mail in to getting your bookkeeping done to getting it filed. And it's different for everybody. Yes. 
And the clients I've had are just so varied. I do payroll for one client. Um, I just do annual um, getting ready for a CPA for a couple of others. Mm -hmm. And uh, everything in between. I've done budgets for housewives mm -hmm. and set them up and trained them in QuickBooks. Mm -hmm. um, I've done small business. Uh, I have several clients right now who are doing just monthly small business. Mm -hmm. Actually, a lot of them started with, let's get last year together at the last minute. <laughs> so, so look right into that camera right there at the top uh -huh. and, and tell everybody your phone number. My phone number is 207-2677. 207. 2677. 207. 2677. Mm -hmm. Write that number down. Give Diane a call. Now, do you, uh, would you give somebody like a free estimate? Yes. Of what it would cost to like have you come in and, and help them organize their personal like home finances? Yes, I and, will. You know, that, that for, for those that are, of us, that are <laughs> lagging in, 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 in personal finance, bookkeeping, and things like that, you know, they're. Which is most people. <laughs> which is most people. Uh, you know, you would come in and, um, uh, assess how much time it might take to to set them up exactly with an easy to use system yes. and what I know I you helped a friend of mine I referred yes. you to a friend of mine yes three, she's a member also of Diane's a member of Business Network International as well and I referred her to a friend of mine in the last year and he had nothing but wonderful things to say about how he, Diane helped his business yes he was and, one of those people who brought everything in this big box and it was like, um, like <gasps> yes <laughs> it was scary. You know, I, I, I have the same thing. And <laughs> I can help you. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, I have uh, the need for help. <laughs> so I'll have to talk to you about that later. And, and uh, for those of you that need help in this area of finance, personal finance, home finance, business finance, uh, I, I would assume that you come in and, and help them make sense of everything, first of all, to make mm -hmm. it easy. Mm -hmm. We, they let me know, usually with lots of confusion, where they are, <laughs> and what they think they need done, and we talk that over and decide what they really do need. Uh -huh. Sometimes it's just a few suggestions, and so it's just a small consulting fee. Other times like it's what? um, forty, depending upon the forty-ish. The, 40 Forty dollars an hour, <laughs> thereabouts. Co consulting fee after the free estimate. Yes, yes, that is. Um, what I usually do is work up a um, a what they need, and then we work up what will work for us and for the client mm -hmm. as far as getting the whole job done. So I prefer to bill on the total job mm -hmm. or on a monthly. If they're doing month to month accounting, uh, a monthly rate that will. Um, Work for them, work for me, give them time to to learn a bit and get organized. And so uh, I start with, with just the housekeeping part of it. Hmm. And my tips for that are, I'm running this through the BNI right now, is every week they're getting one of these tips in my 60-second infomercial. At, at BNI, what we do at Business Network International, there are 30-plus of us business people that are... are are networking our businesses and we have 60 seconds to stand up and 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 help people that are there network for us mm -hmm. teach them what what uh what it looks like for instance if you know i i want them all to go out and say something like are you tired of being fat have you tried everything else or yes. well, maybe it's time you try <laughs> hypnosis. <laughs> Call Mary for a free, no risk, uh, no risk uh, a session to find out how it actually can help you. And if you're accepted as a client, you'll get a written guarantee that you'll reach your goal. And no pills, no shots, none of that baloney stuff. It's all here. It's all here, and it's easy. It's easy. I promise. And actually, my keeping it organized is fairly easy. It gets rid of all those large, scary stacks. Mm. You should never have to live with those large, scary stacks of mail, etc. And we get really inundated with a lot of 
what I call crap <laughs> coming yeah, in yeah. <laughs> out of a mail uh, stack about that much for a week. You may have that much that's really something you really need to a deal with. A lot of with. trees that did need to get chopped down. Oh, yeah. Right. And and what I said this morning in my uh, 60 seconds was don't put the mail down. Lose the pile before you even get started. Cammie Jones, a, a Monterey organizing ec expert and friend of mine, recommends don't put the mail down, separate it into receptacles for shred, recycle, and keep. Recycle. And recycle especially. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, I shred and put things in my vegetable garden. <laughs> and those that are you you're growing, keeping. What are you growing in there? Well, so far, nothing. <laughs> 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 I'm getting a very late start. <laughs> I, wonder if, I wonder if that's, you know, if the paper actually, does it help? Yes, it does. It breaks down, and I, I, uh, I recycle and I compost. So I compost anything I you know, can. Uh, Half my garbage goes into non-meat related, goes into um, in, into the vegetable garden bed. So I may not be growing much this year, but next year is going to be great. You know, I have a horse. <laughs> You're welcome to come out and shovel up whatever you oh, want. Oh, I will be glad to. Yes. Yes, but in your in those items that you do keep, you also need to separate those in things that you need to be looking at very soon, which are to be paid. Things that are to be filed, file them right away if you can. And then those are two that you have to read. And with those, you want to read them, shred them, recycle, or file. That's my biggest tip for the day. Biggest tip <laughs> of the day. And your phone number again. 207-2677. 207-2677. Is there anything else you'd like to add? Um, yes, I have a list of little keeping it organized um, tips. And if you want to give me a call at 207-266, I'd be glad to email that to you or mail. Would you email it to me? Yes, I would. Thank you. But did you have a copy this morning? I missed, did I miss it? I can have this copy? I can I have, have copy that copy. Already. I've got the first copy. <laughs> Actually, Cammie Jones go, it, got the first copy. Oh, did she? <laughs> yeah. It's going to go on my stack. And yes. I'll have to call you to help me with it anyway. Yes, you will. Right, right. Yes. So, is there anybody you'd like to say hi to? Oh, well, to all my friends at BNI, mm -hmm. at um, uh, Monterey, it, oops, women's net networking groups, which would be Salinas Valley Women's Business Women's Network. And they have their meetings on the third Wednesday each month, give them, look them up on the internet. Also PWN, great networking group for women. Mm -hmm. So look them up on I the internet. I went to one too. of those meetings. That's how I ended up. Great? Jim was there. Jim yeah. Boston was there. B for victory. Yeah. And I love that group. Yeah. So that's where I started with radio with Jim back in uh, October. And here we are in TV now. Imagine that. <laughs> so thank you so much, and we're going to uh -huh. take a quick break. And, okay. And uh, we'll be right back. Monday, no sense. You try to lose weight, but it doesn't seem to be your fate. Perhaps the way you've gone about it has given you reason to doubt it. There's an easier proven way to lose that weight today. Just three steps to success for drink water and listen with Monterey Hypnosis with Monterey Hypnosis welcome back listeners and viewers to Off the Wall Tuesdays at 1 o'clock on Comcast Channel 19 also the uh, KYMBTV.com streaming live live streaming video and KNRY 1240 AM now I am a hypnotist hypnotherapist and a teacher of neurolinguistic programming. I am a, a certified stage hypnotist and I will come to your home and do shows or your party and, and do a show. And it's not very expensive. It's just a lot of fun and it's kind of off the wall, <laughs> kind of off the hook. It's good family fun. I do good family shows. Nobody gets embarrassed. Everybody has a great time. And we have our next guest, although I have him right here. Tom Brick. I brought a picture of him because <laughs> he just handed it to me. And we're going to welcome Tom Brick. And Tom Brick, uh, welcome to our show. Thank Look, you. Right Thank there, you, Larry. Cam right there. And Appreciate it, Larry. Scoot over this way a little bit so everybody can get a good there shot you of you. There, there you are. Go. Now, now Tom has been on uh, our radio show, Off the Wall, a few times. Tom is the man 
person here who contributed a good chunk of dough so that we could actually be on this show and deliver this to you. So I didn't have to pay for it all by myself for moderate hypnosis. And well, some other people helped with some contributory funds, although Tom made quite a significant chunk. And we'd like to thank him and welcome him. Now, I've talked about him and what he does the past few shows because he's a great guy and he contributed. So here he is, Tom Brick. Hey, hey thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. <laughs> so go ahead. Tell us about yourself. Uh, well, Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Tom Brick, and my company is New Start Home Inspections. And I'm uh, also from Salinas, the Monterey County area, serving all of uh, Monterey County and uh, all the way to San Francisco. Uh, we go up to Ben Loman. We go all the way up to Big Sur, doing what I do as a home inspector. Yes. And what is that? Well, what is a home inspector? A home inspector is a person that would... Most likely, and this would be you, right? That would be me. Right, right. And uh, most likely come into a person's life when they're either, i.e., thinking about selling their home or when they're buying a home. Most important, obviously, when you're uh, thinking about buying a home because it's a very large investment on your behalf. And you want to make sure that the working components of the home is in good working condition. Yes, yeah. So if somebody just wanted to find out about, and I talk about this too, preventative maintenance. If you're already in a home and you own a home, uh, what if somebody, if you own a home and you, and you want to know the shape and condition of it is, you know, it's just like we have that pile of paperwork that we don't mm -hmm. want to deal with. Mm -hmm. We've got these piles of things mounting in the home. You know, Tom can come in there and actually sort it out for you and give you an idea of the things you need to take care of first to save you money in the long run, to protect your investment protect your home. Uh, here's also a member of Business Network International. And, in, and with that, we have roofers, contractors, plumbers. Uh, well, we had a plumber. We could use a new plumber. And uh, we, um, we have uh, next week, you're going to meet uh, Dave with D&D &D Tile. He's a tile setter, and he does bathrooms. Very, very reasonable at cost. Your costs yeah. also are, are reasonable. Very reasonable, and, I think. Yes, and somebody if somebody were to just call you, now I've been giving your cell phone number out for, for a few weeks, yeah, and if somebody were to just call you and, and get an idea of what it might cost to have, uh, you have different levels of, of uh, inspection? Uh, not really. There's actually only one level, and uh, it's complete home inspection from the top of the chimney all the way underneath the home. And I call it like over a 1,000-point uh, inspection is usually over a thousand items in a home to be inspected. For example, just in a bathroom alone, just in a bathroom alone, there's probably 36 items that one would have to look at to make sure it's working. Without naming them all, I mean, just for example, just uh, moving the toilet to see if it's loose, because uh, that could cause a water damage to your floor, the windows and electrical outlets, et cetera, just to name a few. Yes. So then, uh what do you recommend that people would do now? Well, I think it's, uh, again, as we said, if you live in a home, it's your investment. Think of it as your, like your body, your health, or your car. Uh, that's the only one you're going to have for a long time. And your home being probably, you know, a, the most important part of your life because you live there, you sleep there, uh, it's good at least once a year, if not every couple of years, to have an inspection done and uh, to find out if, do, you know, if you have any water damages going on in the attic, if you have anybody salmon fishing underneath your house, uh, if your garage <laughs> door doesn't work and we have to call you know, Larry Conti's uh, door company. Aaron overhead door, 649 door. There you go. Yes. And if you forget to do Free something. Free estimate. That's right. And if you forget, half you know. Half price service call right now. We've got a half price service call, which includes lubrication and adjust <laughs> on a residential garage door. We also do gates. That's right. And if you forget, you know, my name, you can always call Larry Conti and, you know, he'll bring you into his seminar and teach you how to learn that. Two nine two nine. Two nine two nine. Work on your memory. There you go. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I do have a lot of students that, that come in for uh, test anxiety. Mm. Uh, you know, this it's an unfortunate, unnecessary uh, trap. Uh, test anxiety and anxiety in school and you know it, it's just it's it's handed down and and, and 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 handed off and inflicted on us unknowingly and especially students and young people it's so easy to change it i mean three visits over a two-week period it's priceless testing it's shouldn't priceless. be hard it really shouldn't i don't without think anxiety so. no. yeah without anxiety you know and, and it is i help people go from the bottom of their class to the top 
And wow. where were you when I was going to school? Well, where did you go to school? <laughs> uh, Boston, Massachusetts, yeah. uh, a little town called Lowell. I think I was the only one in class. <laughs> no one wanted me. <laughs> <laughs> How many people in the town? Uh, not too many. <laughs> and it was your house falling down, so you got into this homeless uh, thing? Oh, oh, my you, What did you do next? What did you do next after that? Uh, where? After, after that uh, hometown. Oh, after leaving was. New England, uh, I went into the military, spent pretty much uh, most of my life in the Army uh, Special Forces, uh, 82nd Airborne. And I uh, got out of the Army after spending, you know, many, many years there. Retired here in Monterey, and I uh, got married here. And I started driving tractor trailer, and after tractor trailer, I got into construction. Mm -hmm. And I worked with some companies here in town where I got certified in asbestos removal, mold abatement, uh, pathogen, um, uh, smoke uh, damage and water cleanup restoration type work. Yeah, so you were in the military for how many years? Oh, about 20. About 20 years? Yeah. 20 years in the military? Yeah. Did you, did you jump out of planes? What was yes, that? I did. What was that that you did? Uh, yes, I was special forces. Can you uh, talk about it? Uh, some things I can. Uh, <laughs> special forces at Fort Bragg, North Carolina, you know, uh, we're there to, you know, be at the defense of the government whenever the needs arise, uh, wherever, what country, wherever you need to go, we're mm -hmm. there. And so after you were done with the military, mm -hmm. you actually stepped up yes. and took action yes. and, and made something of yourself. <laughs> well, I thought I did in the military, but <laughs> so, so make me feel bad now. Gee. Well, you know the point. The point is that we see, you know, you, everywhere you drive, you see, you know, the sign "retired vet." Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, uh, it's sad. Uh, you know, a lot of things like that, and and yeah. I'm, I'm wondering. You know, I think it's just a, a, a personal thing. Everybody, as you said uh, yourself earlier, you know, everybody's at different levels in their life. Even in the military, you have uh, achievers and you have people that just slide by. I was an achiever. Uh, in order to do what I did in the military, uh, whether Green Beret, a Delta Force, or, uh, you know, the other elite forces in the military, you have to be a cut ahead, a cut uh, above uh, everybody else. You have to have good thinking uh, skills, fast uh, momentum, things like that. Right. Yeah. And this is what you bring into your new start? I think so. Home uh, inspections. I think I do. I bring to the table honesty, <laughs> integrity. I really do. Because yeah. I'm in your home, the home that you're going to buy, the, the home that you expect me to look after for you. <laughs> yeah. Now, if you're, if you're crawling around the attic with a crawl space or something, you'll have like a knife in your teeth like this. You know, oh, you know, yeah. Rambo, you know, come Rambo. through. <laughs> These military, so are people better off just like leaving the house while you've... Why you attack? Oh, no, no. I actually prefer them there, especially <laughs> because I can, uh, you know, tell them everything about that home. Because, again, you're talking about a home that might e either be for 200000 to a $1 million. And when they're plunking down that kind of money, they need to know what's going on so they can make good financial decisions. And you have equipment that... Uh, I do. Did you get that from the military? Uh, um, what, my equipment? Yeah. No, the only equipment I got was my two hands. Uh, no, I, uh, I invest uh, in a lot of electronic equipment to do what I do. Uh, I, can, I have an infrared camera that can see through the walls. It was about $7,000. What are you looking for when you do that? Uh, moisture. Uh, there's a lot of water damages between walls that people cannot see. Just merely putting your hands on a wall or floor, uh, it, you can't tell if there's any water there. So I can see water, I can see mildew, I can see rodents running in the attic, cats, uh, raccoons, things like that. And you have seen those things. Oh, I saw yes, some I pictures have. that yes, you brought. Uh, yep. It wasn't this one. Yeah, it wasn't it that wasn't one. It wasn't this one. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a nice, it's a nice portfolio. Yeah, uh, what yay. is this? Yeah. It's just your uh, it business is. advertisement? It is. Yeah, so military attack your on home the, on, <laughs> on your home on, on all the things that can cause you trouble down the road that will uh, that will s catch you off guard that's right tom will protect you that's right i will <laughs> and so so what about what else what's the weirdest thing you ran into somebody's home it, like i know you we talk we, we laugh about you when you're not here oh thanks that's and, cool. <laughs> uh, we make fun of you like you know you crawl into these spaces and stuff like that i might as well say it to your face whatever yeah. i say to you behind your back i'll say it to your face oh that's all right and so <laughs> so, you know, as you, you know, you call it like you see it. Yes, I do. You don't sugarcoat no. or, or try to pacify a, a, a buyer or a seller. You call it like it is. Yeah. The real truth about your conditions of, of your home. And, and so what is the worst or, or the most weirdest, uh, strangest thing you've seen in a home? 
Oh, there's a, a lot of them. Uh, you know, one was I was underneath a particular home, and uh, it's kind of gross and nasty, but, you know, uh, as I was crawling underneath there, I saw something big, furry, all moving and everything underneath, you know, the well, crawl wait, space. before we go any further, yeah. people are eating. Oh, yeah, I forget Maybe, the story. Uh, if, if you're having lunch right now, let's, yeah, uh, we'll, let's we'll use a different on. story. We'll, we'll use, yeah, yeah, that was a good we'll, thing. Yeah, Thank we'll you. Save, we'll, save, we'll save your... Uh, there was... If my mother was, hi, Mom, hi, Dad, <laughs> love you. <ya." laughs> There, my mom was watching, you don't want there to was a place. raccoon underneath uh, the house, and as I was crawling, I cornered him, and I didn't realize I cornered him, and he got scared, and he jumped up, and he was coming at me, and I moved to the side, and he night. ran and right I, past me, you know? Yeah, you know, hand grenade on and I And I like uh, raccoons. I really think they're really cool pets, but, you know, they uh, they can be very uh, aggressive uh, in a bad position. You know, they'll scratch you. So your it. Green Beret training really yeah. helped you. Like you this. know, <laughs> K-Bar out. Ready to stab them <laughs> if I have to. What is a K-Bar? Um, I go underneath the house. Oh, jeez. And now that you mention it, I actually have one. <laughs> and uh, and so um, there's no raccoons close by. I, I bring it. I bring all my weapons with me when I uh, in the, when I'm in the attic or underneath what, what, the home. What else did you bring? Well, now that you mention it, <laughs> <laughs> bring the uh, nine millimeter out. You know. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I, uh, one time there was a doll. Uh, in the old days, uh, I think in the 50s, 60s, uh, little girls used to have porcelain dolls. They're big dolls. And when you lay them down, the eyes would close. They'd bring them up. they cry. And I was uh, crawling up in the attic, and I moved something, and I heard something uh, cry. And uh, then I quickly moved my flashlight to it, and I saw a big baby looking at me with the eyes moving. I thought of the exorcist first, you know, and I, the head was just moving and the eyes were talking. I thought it was a live baby in the attic. It wasn't. It was just a porcelain doll. But you can imagine, you know, being scared up there and all of a sudden seeing a, a doll looking at you and uh, talking and the eyes moving, you know. Did it get the K-bar? I was ready. <laughs> I was ready. <laughs> <laughs> Commit Harry so, Carey on myself or something. So, so is this why you only spent 20 years in the military? Uh, yeah, that was enough. Uh, you know, the military has gone through a lot of changes in, its, uh, in my career. Uh, things like some good changes, some negative changes. Uh, a lot of the elite forces that I belong to, they've been downsized because of money. Uh, you know, they've taken away a lot of things that the military used to do and uh, made it harder for us to do what we had to do in foreign countries. Yes. And so, you know, it was probably my time to move on anyway because uh, I wanted to, you know, hopefully one day become a sergeant major, and it didn't work out. So, you know, I just moved on and moved out. And I think I took uh, all the, the years of training, the military training with me in what I do. And, again, I just want to emphasize to all my relative friends that are out there and the networking group, B&I, that, uh, you know, whatever you are, you know, you try to uh, bring it into your uh, profession. This is a home inspection book that I would normally provide. Look up at that camera right oh, there. there look you right now. There you yeah. are. You see? And I try to provide. I didn't tell him where to look before, so yeah, I was just seeing if he got on okay. here. Uh, we like, to, we like to have fun with, to, with, to, with Tom, you know. <laughs> He's a great guy. I can't talk if you're talking. Uh, okay, go ahead. Talk. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I try to provide a very good the book. Keyboard. Uh, an inspection book, and in this inspection book, we try to cover every part of the home, you know, and there's no way I can talk about it all, but we try to give, you know, thousands, not thousands, but at least uh, two or three hundred photos of the home and give you uh, an account of actually what's going on in that day, whether it's your plumbing, the heating, the electrical, you'll know everything about your home at the end of the inspection. And again, I do travel from Salinas all the way to San Francisco. I have seven people on my staff, and I have other inspectors. I have, uh, a tr they're all trained, and I have one of them right now that does speak uh, Spanish, and, uh, you know, they're a great team to be with. And I'm also uh, 203K HUD certified. And What is that? What is that? Well, it's a new program that HUD has. What's for HUD? Uh, it, HUD is a program for home loans and uh, for people that are buying homes that have a lot of repairs. Uh, for example, you're buying a home and it's worth 200000 and after inspection you find out there's $50,000 worth of repairs. HUD will go ahead and loan you the money and above that to make all the repairs in your home and uh, allow you some other extras such as wash machine, dryers, carpet, and things like that, all underneath one loan. The normal way of buying a home is you go to the bank and you get a loan. Then after you get the loan, then you have to go to your own bank 
and uh, draw from your own money to make the repairs. That can be very, you know, costly and takes away from your nest egg. So with this new program, it allows you to go ahead and make one monthly uh, payment when all the repairs are done. Mm -hmm. So it's really yeah. cool. And you can move in your house, be eating lasagna in less than 60 days. Yeah. You know? yep. yeah. We have a good staff, a good team on board. If you eat too much uh, lasagna, yeah. call me. <laughs> we have contractors on board <laughs> that are 203K certified. We have uh, loan people. Whatever you need, I have contacts. Uh, call me if you're in a, a situation where you need that type of uh, loan or that type of support. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What else you got? Well, that's about it. Uh, like I said, as a home inspector, again, it's really crucial to understand that it's for you. When you're buying a home or selling a home, it's a complete physical, okay? It's good to know what you're living in. A lot of us have bu busy lives, and we don't have time to crawl in the attic or crawl underneath the home. But just when you're living in a home, you forget about the things that are leaking. You forget about the moisture in the wall, things that break down. On a normal basis, I can find anything from $500 worth of damage up to $80,000 worth of damage, $80,000 and more. I went to a home uh, in Fremont the other day, and this house was being listed for $500,000, and there was over $293,000 worth of damage, $293,000 worth of damage in this home. And this was going to That's be a, a 203K a HUD loan. There was water underneath the home. The house was literally, literally, and I'm not being facetious, cracking. Scoot over this way some more. Sir. There we go. There you go. Slide over this way. There you go. I there's, there's, you there's the whole Tom. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, literally cracking. We had half Tom there for a minute. Now we got a whole now Tom. Now we got a whole Tom. Yeah. Uh, the house was literally cracking and falling <laughs> off and uh, falling off the edge of the house. And uh, so some major uh, structural problems. On an average home in Salinas, Monterey, King City, uh, Big Sur, I can find easily 15000 Wow. Maybe, oh. some of, maybe some of us don't want to know. Yeah, well, a lot of people don't want to know what's going on in their home until Dave's it's back there giving me sign language. I think he said one oh, minute left. Yeah. Well, we only have one minute left. What's your phone number, Tom? Look at Again, my uh, it's 831-206-3834 or 443-2147. We work seven days a week. We go to all the surrounding counties, uh, night or day, uh, holidays even included. All right, good. Thank you very much. Thank you. And we want to thank the viewers and the listeners. We want to also give you a little tip before we go, and that is we want you to actually... Tell people what you appreciate. Put a smile on. Tell your loved ones what you appreciate. And, and really focus on that. Focus on that. Drop the criticism. Tell people what you appreciate. Hi, Mom, Dad. Hi, Kim, Bryce. Thank you, folks. And w next week at 1 o'clock, we can come right back here. We'll have more guests. And we'll probably uh, have fun on Tom's behalf. <laughs> and... Cut so, that cord. <laughs> how much time we have left there, Dave? We're supposed to be out. All right. All right, here we go. I'll see you later. There we go. Right on. <laughs> well, good job. Thank All you right. very much. I'll get my knife. Nice yes, yes. Take that. <laughs> so we need to work on the ending deal. Right? Anything? 
I got nothing. Pencils! Yes! I want a pizza! Had to work late again. No, don't wait dinner. I'll just grab something. It's a taste worth...